What's going on? I decided to make this uh, video because uh, the other two videos I made seem to be pretty popular. I mean, you know, not as many hits as the uh, Kramer versus Stewart uh, thing I did. Um, but um, this is about, I had a lot of artists that were, a lot of artists and a lot of people that really needed to be motivated and really, you know, wanted to either move or a lot of people were like, you know, since they, since I mentioned that I'm an artist, an illustrator, um, one brother was a graphic designer and he's, you know, he's, you know, asking me a few pointers here and there. Well, first of all, let me say I'm not a graphic designer. Um, I don't even know how to begin to do that kind of stuff. Um, and people assume, and I'm not saying him, but is if you're an artist and you do any kind of visual medium, um, people will kind of assume that you can do one thing as well as you can do another. You know, graphic design is not my thing. Um, I wouldn't even know how, where to begin. I would have to actually hire a graphic designer. Seriously. Um, if there's some stuff that I wanted to do. Which I got a good friend of mine that I work with. He's a graphic designer. That's what he does. Um, I have another friend who's a photographer. You know, could I possibly do photography or graphic design? Yes. But it would take me so long to do it. Um, it would just be ridiculous. But what I wanted to get to is that um, how do you get your stuff out there? Um, if you're an artist, you know, how... You know, how do you get work? How do you get stuff out there? Um, I would say um, doing this, uh, promoting yourself. You know, there's, you know, right now you have an, everybody has an opportunity to be heard. You know, everybody has an opportunity to, with the internet and YouTube and MySpace and Facebook, uh, iTunes, you can put your stuff on iTunes. There's there's so many avenues that you have, so you really have to learn how to become your own promoter, your own manager, your own producer. Um, I was working, all right, for the, well, I used to mess with beats. I used to make beats back in the day. And you run into a lot of dudes that make beats that are like, then, you know, they, they rap lyrics about I'm moving keys and I'm, selling all this dope and I, I got money and ice and then you know you say well I'm charging you three hundred dollars for a beat and they look at you with oh well uh I don't know if I got three hundred dollars for a beat I'm like well motherfucker you selling keys how, 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 you, how do you not have three hundred dollars for a beat you know so you run in so I ran into a lot of that which kind of just made me just go like all right whatever kind of tired of doing this shit kind of tired of dealing with motherfuckers that really ain't serious and recently I ran across someone that you know do can he could spit and his boys could and they you know they needed some beats so I made I put together some beats for him and he's like well yeah I'm trying to put together this record label and, and my thing is everybody's trying to put together a record label that raps I, you know which is kind of admirable there's a lot of research that you got to do um, because there was a lot of research that I did um, on the record industry there are books out there pick up some books start talking to people start talking to people that actually work in the industry um, but you can always produce your own stuff. If you make beats, you know, make a little uh, a little AMV video. Take some of these little manga uh, cartoons like Naruto or, or or whatever you know kids are watching now, um, because they're making these fan videos with other people's music in it. So why not just put one of your beats to images that they recognize? That's a way to get yourself out there. Um, you can make your own little music videos and put them right here on YouTube. But going back to what I was saying before, you know, the dude that I was working with was like, well, why don't you be our manager? I was like, well, I ain't got time to manage nobody. That's not my thing. I mean, I possibly could. I was like, well, I'll tell you what, go get a musician's atlas, you know, and I'll help you out with a few things. And for those of you that don't know what a musician's atlas is, a easy way of describing it, it's like the yellow pages for music. Um, and if you don't know what the Musician's Atlas is and you're trying to do music, okay, that's fine. But now I've told you what it is. Everybody who's doing music needs to at least know what it is or go out and get one. Um, so, because it has like the addresses of like college radio stations and the venues that, that are at colleges and radio, regular radio stations and all kinds of great resources in there. And I told them it's like 40 bucks. Go over to, you know, Borders or Barnes and Nobles. They always have one. Uh, okay, well, weeks went by, he still didn't get one, still didn't get one, still didn't get one. It's somebody that's a drug dealer, you know, but he wanted to stop selling drugs. But I'm like, okay, you just, and I'm like, okay, well, you got on some new gym shoes right now that cost you easily, uh, you know, buck fifty, you know, 120, let's say it just cost you a hundred bucks, you know, 
but you can't spend forty dollars to get a musician's atlas that's going to help you um, get your music out there. And the thing is, is that you know you're dealing. Sometimes you're dealing with people that are just not serious, or some people that just have a certain mentality. And this whole thing, and a lot of people that I run into are like, "Well, I could sell my CDs for five dollars." I'm like, "Look, stop. You make your music and you put it out there for free. Nobody knows who you are. Ain't nobody just buying some shit from you, and you don't. You ain't established. You ain't. You know what I'm saying? You got to create a fan base before you start charging people for stuff. You know." And my thing is this, for anybody out there that's trying to make it, you got to create a fan base. So if you're doing art, um, then you need to get your artwork out there and you need to advertise it. Um, and I'm at the stage now where, you know, I'm really looking at, I'm more of a storyteller. So it's more of me deciding how I want to tell my stories. Um, I know YouTube is going to be a part of that. And I'll do it under, you know, I'll do it under a totally different channel. But, um... You know, with me being a storyteller, there's just certain ways that I want to tell my stories that I think will be much more effective. You know, if I were doing music, I would be making music videos and putting them up here. You got to take this shit into your own hands. I mean, you really do. You can't wait around for somebody to give you a record deal. Um, you can't wait around uh, to let somebody hear you. You got to go out there and be heard. You got to promote your stuff. You got to find out how to do promotions you got to put together a team of solid people that know what they're doing or at least are motivated enough to want to help you out and you need a game plan you need to sit down and plan this kind of stuff out it's not just something that you're just doing just to be doing it if you're serious about it you know i mean you're not gonna you know for those of you that think that you're just gonna run your little cd up to the radio station like you are you are sadly mistaken you're better off going the route of college radio because up at the major radio stations, all that shit is owned by Clear Channel. For those of you that don't know what Clear Channel is and you're in the music industry, man, you are lost. So uh, there's a lot of research that needs to be done for um, for anything that you're doing. Um, so I don't know. So my thing is um, for all the artists out there, you need to get a game plan. You need to educate yourself on the business aspect of what you're doing and then do it yourself. You want to try and create a fan base you're trying to create fans because once you've got fans and once you've shown that you can bring in money on your own then you will start getting offers and at that point you may not even want the offers because you might be doing so well on your own so i don't know just a little something to think about man hopefully this is kind of helpful to some of my artist friends out there peace